Erica. <sighs> Alright, you guys. It is officially the dreaded time for anybody <laughs> who has thighs, a butt, a normal amount of bloating. It's not winter anymore. You can't hide behind your big sweaters anymore. And it's time to brace ourselves and figure out how we're supposed to survive this because I genuinely don't know if I'm going to survive this summer. I <laughs> hate summer with a passion and like don't get me wrong like summer fashion is really cute and if you're and like I'm only hard about like summer fashion on myself. I think literally everybody else looks amazing in shorts or a dress or a tank top. I think I look like absolute trash. Like right now, I like want to, I'm cringing at myself in the viewfinder because I hate this outfit so much. But like in theory, it's cute. When I tried it on in the store, it was cute. But because I'm a little bloated and because I have these like weird little like armpit butt things, I hate it. But if anybody else has it, I think they're beautiful. And I wish I was them. <laughs> and it's so freaking annoying. <laughs> okay, yeah. Let's actually just go straight into whole the whole fashion thing. Um, that's honestly the part that like bothers me the most. Because Canadian summers, especially in Toronto, are the worst. It's hot. It's sweaty. Which means your thighs are going to rub and rub and rub. And I remember being shamed for, like, chub rub my whole entire life. And it wasn't until very recently that I realized most people have it. Basically, I religiously shop at American Eagle. I think, like, a solid 90% of my wardrobe is American Eagle. Just because, like, I know my size in their clothes. I really like their clothes. They, like, fit with, like, my aesthetic. They're, I just find their clothes really good quality. I've heard people say otherwise, but I... If I've ever had a problem with an article of clothing, and that's most typically my jeans, where like they wear really quickly between the thighs, I have always brought them into the store and they've replaced them on the spot, no questions asked. And so like to me that's like, I'm paying $50 for a pair of jeans, but at least I know they're essentially lifetime warrantied. So I'm going to talk about American Eagle's curvy line, so the curvy jeans and curvy shorts. Those are my entire life. I'm wearing the curvy shorts right now in a light blue. I will put a link to them in the description because they're literally my favorite pair of shorts. They fit me so well. I have a lot of their like not curvy shorts as well. They fit fine. I just find that these these weren't supposed to be super high-waisted. They are super high-waisted. They're too big but they're comfortable which is fine and I can like roll them up and it kind of gives them more of a like vintage aesthetic if they're a little bit baggier which is cute so it's fine. Um, I also really, really like their curvy jeans. Um, I know a lot of people hate wearing jeans in the summer. I personally don't like having my legs on display a lot, so, um, I do typically just wear pants, um, whether they're, like, palazzo flowy pants or, um, jeans, which is typically what I go for because I'm basic. Um, I always wear American Eagle, and again, I recently found out about their curvy jeans. Um... And I've had zero problems, like, they're my favorite jeans in the world. Like, my black jeans that I wear, like, every single day are from that line. And they're just so comfortable, and they're cute, and you can wear them with anything. And with pretty much, when I go for pants, I typically wear a tank top over top because I don't want to overheat. So, that's pretty much my reasoning, and that's what I do. And that protects your thighs from rubbing together, so, you know. For tops, I like to wear a lot of oversized tees. Um, oversized shirts are just like my go-to because they have a lot of room and they're easy to tuck into anything. And I don't know, they're just really comfortable for me. I know that they're not the most flattering item of clothing to wear, but I like them, so. Tank tops, again, like I said, I wear those with jeans for the most part. Today I'm wearing it with my shorts because I was like, I need to at least put on an outfit today, so 
Yeah, but I, it kind of just depends on the weather. Like, if I'm at my cottage and it's 35 degrees with a ton of humidity, I'll probably be wearing shorts and a tank top. I also really like light jackets and kimonos. Um, I know that this is, like, a really, like, mom type of thing to wear kimonos all the time, but, like, if you look at my videos from the end of last summer, I'm wearing a kimono and like, all of them. I also bought one tube top, which is, like, super surprising because I have boobs, right? I was not expecting a tube top to work for me, and it did, except I need to go get it in a smaller size. I bought, like, an extra large American Eagle t reversible t tube top, and to my surprise, it was falling. And I was like, whoa, okay, but my boobs. And it was like, no, no, you don't fit in this. You need a smaller one. So I'm going to go get a smaller one because, um, yeah, so tube tops are amazing. And they're also like relatively cheap and compared to normal shirts. So if you're like on a budget, a tube top will work. Another thing I really like is linen blouses with like a bralette underneath. Um, I also really like rompers. I It's hard for me to find ones that fit properly because I'm tall er I guess I'm 5'8 which I guess is tall but I wear I have this one romper that I bought on clearance at the end of like spring break time and it's really really cute I got I was able to get it in a tall length which fits me like a glove but honestly like it's so comfortable and roomy yeah and then just finding like good footwear just I think across the board it doesn't matter if you're curvy or thin or I don't know what other body s types there are but it doesn't matter what your body type is like having a good pair of shoes will just go the extra mile um I like to wear converse especially those are my go-to's and yeah that's basically my clothing hacks I'm gonna move on to like overall hacks to being crisp and comfy. So like I said earlier in the video, I wear jeans a lot because they like prevent my thighs from rubbing together. But there are two tricks that I can think of off the top of my head that are really, really, really good for preventing chub rub. Um, my first and the first and cheaper option that I have in my head is using um, antiperspirant deodorant between your thighs. Not only will it keep your sweaty nether regions smelling fresh you don't actually put it on your nether regions just put this where you rub and because it's a powdered formula with antiperspirant it stops that area from getting really really moist and the moisture is what causes it to stick and rub and rash and chafe so also it just smells really good you can get unscented one if you're like super sensitive but i use this on my armpits and on my thighs so like I don't know. There's also, um, I tried this at the beginning of September because I was walking around campus in shorts. So I went to Lush because I moved downtown and there was finally a Lush near me. And I bought the Lush Silky Underwear and it honestly, it works pretty well. I find that you have to apply it a lot more than you do antiperspirant. But I mean, if your thighs aren't as sweaty as mine I'm sure it would work really really well it's also natural which is nice and it just looks like this yeah and you could also do like mom shorts I think mom shorts and Bermuda shorts for the most part prevent chaf chafing I hate the way I look in Bermuda shorts I think I look like a 95 year old woman in them and like not really looking for that vibe right now and mom shorts just mom jeans I don't know where to buy them other than American Eagle and at American Eagle they don't fit me right at all like I've done all of the sizes and it's just like not a cute look on me I do have a pair of mom jeans from ASOS that look pretty okay um but I and then if you're like me and have a thick old head. if you have a big old head of hair like my hair is curly I don't know if you guys can actually tell but like I got curly hair and in the summer it gets like 10 times worse so um I really like doing braids like two like braids around my head and then pinning them up I think it looks really cute like milk maid braids or just french braids also putting my hair in a ponytail what I do is listen this is kind of a genius idea. 
So you put your hair in a ponytail when it's dry and then go in the shower and just kind of get it wet and then it kind of dries a little bit more tamed and in a better shape than like if it was like triangled like it usually is. I don't know. That's what I do. I don't know if that makes sense, but or you could just embrace your natural beautiful hair. That's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I hope that my wise, wise chubby words will, I don't know, I hope they'll inspire you to just have a good summer, have fun, but also not get chafing because I know that that's so painful. Yeah, if you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up. Anyways, I'll be back next time. I was going to say next week, but I can't guarantee regular uploads because I'm quirky. No, I'm joking. I'm just stupid. Um, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you next time.